Hey guys, welcome to another Top Drives video and today it is part one of Flying Colours. Okay guys, so this is the first 10 races of Flying Colours. Um, and to be fair, this isn't a, too bad of a challenge. The minimum car you can use is super rare, uh, all the way up to epic. Now, I've managed to complete these first 10 races without an epic, uh, so it is doable. Um, of course, we've had to wait a little while for this challenge, but I uh, just want to say congratulations to everyone that's got the En Rouge. Uh, that was the GT challenge and for everyone that's got the veteran token even if you couldn't finish the whole veterans challenge as long as you got that token that is all that really matters uh, was a bit of a tough veterans challenge I've got to say uh, Mercedes was not my strongest point uh, but they are the reason why we have had to wait so long for this challenge uh, but to be brutally honest it's nice to have a little bit of a break um and not be just constantly trying to keep up with top drives you know that that's my honest opinion so i will apologize for any background noise as i am hiding at work uh, no days off this week apart from yesterday uh which was the Tuesday which is one of the reasons as to why um, I've not actually put the the GT Triple Crown up um, because I was at a funeral yesterday um, it was a good 70 or 80 miles away and it was a long day and I didn't get time to do any top drives at all uh, and I've just really uh, I've not brought myself to do um the the triple crown quite yet and so doing the long hours and the funeral it's really really knackered me out uh, yesterday was such a long day um okay so at the end of flying colors we will get our token to the final round and also uh, we will get our token to grab the next epic prize so if you did do silver screen and you had the choice of the the porsche and the alpha and you chose say the porsche like me you will then have the opportunity to grab the alpha if you already had the porsche and didn't have the alpha or vice versa um and you claim the other one then there is an epic for you to claim so there is there is an epic minimal i can't remember what the prize is for the owners of both of them uh, but for me it's going to be the alpha uh, as i claimed the porsche in the last one but that does kind of bring me back to the point of what i said just before two zones started uh, that it would have been nice to have been offered different cars because going through silver screen i was torn and i was torn for days and i'm sure a lot of players were like right if i pick the porsche am i going to suffer for not having the alpha or if i pick the alpha am i going to suffer for not having the porsche which one's going to suit my garage better you know there was a lot of deliberation there was a lot of thinking about it and you know some people just went yeah i'll have the porsche some people went, yeah I'll have the alpha no problem um, but I really deliberated over a few days and then for them to go, oh, well, you're just going to get the other one anyway. What, what was the kind of the point in that? I know not everyone had the option of winning it at silver screen. I understand that completely. Um, but I thought the idea of having the choice was that, okay, so if we don't pick the Porsche now, will we ever see that Porsche again? Maybe not. So, is that Porsche going to work better? Is that something I want in my garage? Or is it something that everyone's going to have now? So, you know, if you didn't pick the Porsche last time, you can pick it up this time. And you've got it anyway. 
you, you, there's no handicap. The only people that are going to be handicapped are the people that don't have either of them. Um, which I'm not saying it's going to be loads of people because. I'd imagine quite a lot of people can't get this far into the challenge anyway. Uh, but that's not the point. It's kind of like, it'd have been nice to go, well, you've had your choice for that. Here's your next choice. Which one's going to suit your garage better? Which one do you want more? Um, that's just where I kind of stand with it. Now, of course, the same thing goes for the Aerial Atom and the Dodge being our two legendary prize cars that are up for grabs. Um, and the real kick in the balls has got to be for the people that already owned both of them um, prior to Silver Screen and Two Tone. Because don't forget, the Dodge had been given out twice in Tri Series. One was the main one, and then one was a rerun. Uh, and now you've had another two option opportunities to grab it. Um, and the Aerial Atom, that was a huge tri-series. When it first came out, it was an absolutely huge tri-series. And players went mad for it. Um, but it's one of them cars that does need a couple of upgrades in now to be able to compete. Um, whether that's Hutch's plan, whether they want you to be able to compete with other ones. And they're going to force you to use your food or what, I don't know. Uh, but either way, you know, I looked at it as this might be my last opportunity for the Dodge. So I want to take it. And I was, that that's what I did. Not expecting ever to see the Aerial Atom again. And that was the decision I made. Now I do appreciate, like I said just before, that not everyone had the opportunity in Silver Screen. Because, let's face it, Silver Screen was trash. The selection of cars were awful. Um... Yeah, that that's you know where, where where I think Silver Screen was. Two Tone feels a lot more solid. There's a lot better cars to be used, and the pool seems a little bit bigger. Um, but yeah, that's that's where I stand with it. So anyway, change of subject. If you do like my videos, please do drop a like and smash that subscribe button continue to follow me for more top drive videos of course every two-tone video is there for you to um to view there will be a two-tone pack opening and that will include all of the ceramic packs that have been picked up along the way from every single event that i've won um and the carbon fibers and stuff like that so that video will be coming soon uh, you can see how bad my luck has been and uh I will endeavour to try and get the GT Series Triple Crown up by the end of the day too. And potentially spend 100 gold and get this next video up from this challenge as well. But we'll have to wait and see uh, how time works with me today. So I am going to have to finish the audio part of the video here. Uh, simply because I have got to go back to work. Uh, I just need to go and finish my cup of coffee. Go to the toilet before I hit my next stint on a bus. Um, but I hope this video has helped you. Uh, and like I said, I will endeavour to get the next parts up this evening. But I cannot guarantee anything at the moment. Uh, if you need to know anything, drop a comment. And I'll try and get back to you. I'm sure other people... Uh, drop comments and give some hints and stuff as well as to what works have a great day guys I'll leave these last couple of rounds for you with a little bit of tunage take care guys bye bye